Well, hello everyone. Here I am back over on my main channel. Hopefully you saw the little video I put up over on the second channel, See and Sell, where I let you guys know that for the foreseeable future, I'm back to doing the one reseller vlog here on this channel once a week where I show you all of my um, sales that have come in. And just to quickly recap, it's just because I have too much going on behind the scenes, taking care of my dad, I'm doing other work. I just don't have enough right now to justify a daily reseller vlog. I really have been liking it. You guys liked it. Um, but I, I just had to say, you know, I just can't do it right now. Could I go back to it in the future? Absolutely. So that channel is still there. But for the foreseeable future, all videos will be here on this channel, Anna Eckhart, the main channel. Um, and these weekly eBay sale videos will be going up on Sundays, which is what I was doing a few months ago until I tried to, you know, jump into the daily reseller vlogging. So I hope you guys understand. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's just that I just had to say, you know what, I, I can't do it right now put my foot down and make a, a change. So I know most of you who were subscribed to the other channel are already subscribed here. So hopefully I'm not losing anybody, but um, I did put a video up on that channel explaining it. So now we're here. So now um, it's actually Saturday and I'm starting up this week. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what sold overnight on eBay. So yesterday, Friday evening, I put my store 30% on sale everything I haven't done sale in weeks just because because just because 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 I've just been sending offers to watchers but we are here now um, in December and I wanted to clear out my inventory before the end of the year and that would require a lot so I decided to try to jumpstart things with a 30% off sale of course eBay was glitching and my sale like was in processing mode for three hours but it finally did go up so um, right now, everything's 30% off. Um, and these two Hallmark ornaments sold, two different buyers. They each sold for $10.49 with the sale. They are both shipping for free. Um, but um, I just want this stuff gone. So it's um, Black Friday weekend, I guess, since people are still out at the brick and mortar stores. So we'll see what the online shopping looks like. This 30% off sale is running through Monday. Um, so we'll see if it helps. It hasn't thus far, <laughs> but um, anything is better than nothing at this point. So I'll take it. So it's now after dinner and I have $87 in eBay orders. Uh, someone bought two of the Cool Decade Hallmark ornaments. If you find the whole set of these, there's a 90s and then a 2000s. Like if you get all the 90s or all the 2000s, they're going to sell quicker, easier if you have the whole set. And that's if you want to sell just the 90s or just the 2000s or like two decades together, you know what I mean, um, versus piecing them out. But I pieced them out because I didn't have all of them, but whatever. <clears throat> uh, this is one of those international Santa Clauses. This is the Irish uh, one. It has the ornament with it. A set of spoons. These are bamboo handles. A Hummel. A pair of lease. I believe is how you say it. Liss, Liss, new tag pants, and then this angel um, ceramic candle holder. The buyer paid shipping on this, but all the others have free shipping. So obviously that's cutting in huge to my potential profit. But like I keep saying, I just want this stuff gone. I want to clear out as much as I can by the end of the year. So at this point, it's just like move it, cash flow, bye bye start fresh in the new year. Okay, later on Saturday night, I have two more eBay orders. First is this CD, um, sold for $10.49, free shipping. Um, I usually do media mail unless um, it's a, it's like four ounces and I can do first class when it's free shipping. Uh, and then these are a pair of Theory pants. They're like a spring, summer, I don't know, would you call these culottes? <laughs> They've got this like mesh bottom. Um, finally sold these for $27.99. Look at the original price on these. $3.95. I don't get anywhere. You know, you would think, oh, you get new with tag clothes, you can charge more. But honestly, I really don't find that to be true. Maybe a tad bit more. 
but honestly not. I feel like if you were somebody and you were sourcing and you found these theory pants at maybe like the bins and they were in great condition, even if they didn't have new a tag, you probably would have been able to get 28 bucks for them as well. So anyway, um, and I paid up for the pants that I have and they're still over there. I hope they will sell by the end of the year. Anyway, um, yeah, did I say free shipping on that? Yeah, free shipping on those too. Back with another $59 in orders. A little, another Hallmark box. It's just funny how these are just flying out the door right now, these uh, fabulous decade. But I'm supposing it's because people are getting their Christmas stuff out now. And people who collect these, like if something happened to the certain year, they want the replacement. I'm guessing. Uh, this Department 56. Cute little pedal car. Pedal tractors. Pedal cars. A craft kit and this Hummel, which I almost panicked because I couldn't find it. And it was weird because in the listing, I didn't have it in a box, but I have it in a box. Here it is in the box. But then I'm thinking, was this its box? Because it may have just come with the styrofoam and I stuck it in a box. But since it's gonna have to go in a box in a box anyway to ship breakables, it can go in this box, and that's enough of me saying box. I'm also very excited because when I went over to look for that uh, craft kit, I'm realizing that, oh, I can almost get these all into one bin. Oh, that'll be my happy day when all of these fit into one basket. I probably could do it now, but, oh, and what did I just step on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Is anybody ever going to buy this? Oh my gosh, it's been sitting here forever. It's so cool, but eh, there it sits. That'd probably be an Etsy thing, but I don't know. I hear so many bad things about Etsy, but then I hear some people still love it. So I don't know. I think it just depends on, you know, do you, do you need the money or is like Etsy a hobby or an extra or is Etsy paying your mortgage? I think that's the difference. I think for people who like need to pay their mortgages for three selling, Etsy's kind of like pull out your hair. But maybe if you're on multiple platforms and Etsy's one of them, you know, you don't completely rely on it. It's not so bad. So I don't know. If you are on Etsy, let me know how it's going over there. And if you are, are you a full-time Etsy seller, like paying all your bills on Etsy? Or is Etsy part of your overall business strategy or you're just selling like for extra money. And don't get me wrong, there is absolutely nothing wrong with selling to get some extra money. I don't mean it in a negative way at all. I'm just, you know, for somebody like me, I'm only reselling because it pays bills, <laughs> not, you know, like for fun and extra. I'd rather do a lot of other things for fun than this stuff. But anyway, let me know if you're on Etsy and how it's going for you. So I got some copies of my books, these two. Um, as I'm filming this, these two and two others are currently available in paperback. I'm getting some more up. I've ordered the other two. The, you get like offer copies, um, which are a little cheaper. They limit you to how many you can get, but I ordered two of each of these. This was my first one I ever wrote. And then that's the sequel. So yeah, you can get these in Kindle or paperback, these two. So excited about that. It's fun to see these. Um, printed up. I should have done this a long time ago because I know people have wanted paperbacks, um, but now they are there. So got those, and those are print on demand, meaning when you order one, then Amazon prints it. So the only bad thing is I don't think they qualify for Prime shipping. I had to pay shipping on them, and I'm a Prime member, so I think the print on demand stuff is different. That's the only thing. Anyway, those are up, and of course the link to my Amazon books is below the video. And then I have a order from Thrive that has been sitting here for like days. Um, so Thrive is an online membership uh, grocer. They deal in mainly like organic and special diet and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's membership based. It is $59.99 a year. Uh, with that, you get discounts on products, free samples, um, free shipping, all the kind of free stuff. And I do, you also get a referral code. And with the referral code, I was able to get this order almost all for free. I think I had to pay like six or seven dollars over. So that was kind of nice. Um, but I'll link Thrive below. If you're like me and you're in an area where it's kind of harder to get this kind of food, um, it can be a good deal. I know people who live like you have a Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and all that kind of stuff. We don't have that kind of stuff here. We have hy V. And they do sell some of this stuff at Hy-Vee, but it's like twice as much. So for me, 
uh, the things that I want. It's a good deal. So anyway, um, I did get this free sample. It is a honey, raw honey hemp thing. I don't know what it is. Are you supposed to just suck it? I'm not sure. That was a freebie. Then I got a pack of sunflower seeds. Oh my gosh, I've been without sunflower seeds. I eat these on salads. So organic sunflower seeds. Then I grabbed a bag of organic light brown sugar. It is baking season. Let's do the baking. I had two boxes. I freaking love these. They do not carry them in my area. Once in a blue moon, you'll find them, and then you go to the store the next time, and they don't have them. And they do have other brands, but I like this kind. Nature's Path. Enviro Kids with the Z Panda Puffs. That is your Captain Crunch knockoff healthy-ish -er version. Two boxes of those. Bag of organic powdered sugar. Um, we didn't have any candy canes, so I thought, you know what? He, these are organic peppermint candy canes, a little box of candy canes. I like to kind of hang them on the tree or put them somewhere for decoration. So I got those. Then a jar of Justin's nut butter, the um, hazelnut. Oh, this is hazelnut and almond. Hmm. Chocolate. We'll see about that. Then, what's this jar? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, another jar of pasta sauce. I really like their pasta sauce. The roasted garlic. Then, two packs of the Justin's Milk Peanut Butter Cups, which I don't know why I got these now when, it must have been a sale or something, because um, it's like candy season. I don't need to be buying candy when we have holiday candy. Then I got two box. A lot of these things, like the smaller stuff, it comes in two. So you don't just buy one, you buy two together. So two bags of these bean fields, bean chips, which are so good, and the cheddar and sour cream. They have a lot of different flavors. Years ago, they had a ranch. I think they were Benito's brand, and they were so good, but I can't find them. So two bags of those, and then two bags of these Barbara's cheese puffs. Oh my gosh. These are so good. And that's another two pack. So all of this, like I said, was free except for a little bit of overage that I got through referral credits. So yay. Also, the other thing, when you get a membership to Thrive, they do donate a membership uh, to a family that doesn't have access to, um, you know, groceries like this. So that's another nice thing. Although if you can't afford a membership, I don't know how you can afford the prices on this food. But anyway, it's a nice gesture. So, let's go. Charlie, are we going to go to bed for the night? I've actually had more orders come in. I'm debating do I want to get them tonight or get them tomorrow. Because we're kind of already full for t today. What should we do? Should we wait till tomorrow? Oh, you're so cute, Charlie. So it's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> um, I had $136 in orders come in. And uh, let's see, we have another craft kit, a CD, a Hummel, this flatware, two different Hallmark ornaments. This is a wallet cut from the cloth. I think this came in a FabFitFun box. And then someone bought this lot of Coca-Cola ornaments. All of these items I had free shipping on, but the Coca-Cola lot, the buyer um, paid shipping. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these ready. I don't know if my dad will be able to get them ready to go out tomorrow, but um, still work ahead. I do have two-day handling on my listings now, so have time to get it out. He'll probably get up at the crack of dawn if he knows these are out there and do them. So anyway, I get these ready and then I'm going to bed. It is Monday, December 2nd. It's actually afternoon. I had a bunch of errands this morning, and then the uh, house cleaners were just here, which is wonderful. House is clean for another two weeks. Uh, but I have seven orders here for a total of a hundred and what did I, I just added it up? Like $110, I think. Uh, this, this little toy. I should have just taken this to the consignment store because the price it sold for and the shipping, it's like I'll be in the red, but whatever. Uh, this. Um, Department 56 card. The buyer paid shipping on this one. Some flatware, free shipping, a little ornament, free shipping, another ornament, free shipping, another little car thing, free shipping. I had a bunch of auctions going this week of clothing. They haven't gone anywhere, which it's not really auction season anyway, although is it ever on eBay anymore? But for sure, not now. 
So I'm slowly relisting the ones that didn't sell and most didn't. But this one did sell. This is a Donna Morgan dress. It sold for $9.99 um, and the buyer paid shipping on that. So buyer shipping on those two and then these are the ones with free shipping. Hi, Charlie. Charlie's here while I make my dinner. Having a salad. I swear there is lettuce under there. But I have the lettuce. I have some rotisserie chicken, cranberry, dried cranberries, almonds, sunflower seeds, some Parmesan cheese, carrots, olives. Did I say olives already? There's a lot of going on. I'm going to add in some chow mein noodles and then, oh, this is okay. Well, the one they had at Sam's Club today didn't say chunky, it just said blue cheese, but they did have the lighthouse dressing there. So hmm, I'll have to try that there because it was cheaper than this little bottle. So mm -mm -mm. how's shipping going over there, dad? You're on camera. <laughs> I'm just sitting here eating my salad, watching you ship. Well, that's good. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Want Charlie's water? watching me eat. Why wouldn't you want to do that? I know earlier in this video, I showed you guys my um, Thrive order that I'd gotten, and I forgot these were also in there. And these were the free. You you always get a free sample, but then you also get a free product. And um, this was the free product the day that I ordered. So these are Health Warrior organic bars, pumpkin seeds, honey, and cocoa, so two dark chocolates, and then these are honey and sea salt, um, two of those, so yay, another benefit of Thrive, and again, I do have the Thrive, um, or, or Thrive, not the Thrive, linked below if you are interested in going and learning more about it. So it's after dinner now, and I just had another eBay sale. This is a Bakutan, Bakugan battle plant, I have no idea. Sold for $13.99. The buyer did pay shipping. Um, they're also global shipping, so they're paying me shipping and then paying eBay the shipping to send it wherever it's going. Um, I've been struggling with some of these toys or, you know, square things like that. And then I found the perfect box. I, I've, like, reused all the Amazon and subscription boxes and all that kind of stuff that I normally keep over there. Try to use as much as possible. But then this size box is 12 by 9 by 4. And I think this... Oh! Yes, perfect. Yay! Had to come in and get my snack box refilled or bring this in. Um, it's been out all day and refill the snack box for the carriers. So all these things that I've gotten from like um, Variety Fun. These bars I got free today from Thrive I'll put in there. We just can't eat all this. And there's only two people here. My dad hardly eats stuff anymore. So um, yeah, it's a great way to pass along the snacks. And this is the second year I've done this box. And they all seem to like it. So um, it's fun to do. So it is now the end of the day on Monday, also called Monday night, haha. <laughs> and I have five more eBay orders. Somebody, oh, for 60, what did I just, I just added it up, $64, I think. Um, someone bought two pairs of socks, a Nikki phone case, CD, a DVD, and this super cute um, vintage Care Bear. It is one of the vintage ones. Kenner. Look at the little tongue sticking out. Uh, all of these items I do have free shipping on. My 30% off sale ends here in a couple hours, I think, left. So, yeah, it did work to clear out some smalls, you know, the little stuff. Um, so that was good. Like I, you know, said, the CDs, the DVDs, the phone cases, the Hallmark ornaments, all those little things, those have really been moving. So that is good. I'm thankful for that stuff um, to have gotten out of here. And um, I suppose tomorrow I might, I had just been doing, you know, offers to watchers. Um, but now that we are in like prime Christmas season, like this is it. You know, if people are going to buy specifically for Christmas, they're, they're going to get it or they're not going to get it. So I don't know that I'll do a deep discount if a sale at all. I hadn't been doing a sale for a few weeks. So I'll just have to see how I feel tomorrow about the whole thing. We'll just see how it unfolds. Well, hello. It is Tuesday and... Just got back from taking my dad to the doctor. It was just a routine appointment, but um, he hasn't been feeling well. She checked him over. I think he's fine. I think, he, honestly, he has the man flu. Let's just be honest. It's the man flu. <laughs> Even the doctor was like, mm -hmm. um, but.
but um, he has lost a lot of weight in the last six months, 17 pounds in six months. So she gave him a lecture about you have to eat, you have to eat, you have to eat. So we are home now. Um, <clears throat> I have quite a few eBay orders, except um, I had 30% off sale on eBay going through last night. It was supposed to end at like 11.59. Didn't end. Hasn't ended. I went in, I manually ended it. Still hasn't ended. Everything's, well, everything that was listed because I had relisted some stuff that I'd ended, but most of my store is still 30% off and I can't get it to stop, which means if it doesn't get here fixed quick, I'm going to have to call eBay and I hate calling eBay, but like, what the heck? When I started the sale on Friday or was it Thanksgiving? Anyway, whenever, whatever day it was, I started the sale Saturday. Um, it never actually in the, um, section where you, see where the sales are. It always said processing. It said processing for like three hours before it finally started, but it never stopped showing processing. When I went in this morning to manually end it, still said processing and it's still going on. Glitch Bay for the holidays. It's its own holiday song, Glitch Bay for the holidays. So I'm gonna be dealing with that. A little bit more do on the books. Um, yeah. Just the same old, same old stuff that I've been doing every single day of this month. So anyway, um, I'm going to get the laundry going. And then I do have like 10 orders. So I will show you what has sold thus far today. Okay, I have $157 in orders, 10 separate orders. So this is a Kelsey dagger bag. Came in a thread up box. Um, let's see, this is a Dillard's Santa. We've got this cute hallmark plush he sings i can't play him though because i'll get copyright strike we have a, a life is good shirt another thing of wrapping paper four hallmark ornaments the decade one and then mary's angels and then i sold this a nico coffee pot the buyer on this page shipping um but everything else will ship out for free so obviously that cuts quite a bit into the profits, but like I keep saying this stuff, it just needs to go. So bye-bye. See you later. Thanks for, thanks for shopping. <laughs> okay. Tuesday night. I have two more eBay orders. Uh, this pack of stickers. I just sold these for $12.99 with free shipping. I've had these for ages. I had just ended them and relisted them and boom, they sold. Then this Jones New York top, I sent an offer um, of $18.00. And they accepted and both of these items are shipping for free they will both go first class just had another sale a hummel again this is something i just had ended and relisted uh this one sold for 29.99 the best hummels to get are always the ones marked west germany um the ones that are marked just germany they're newer after the wall came down so that's what i've found at least um so $29.99 on that and did have free shipping. I am pulling things off of eBay that are going to go to the consignment store. I just pulled off a bunch of clothes. They're going to start taking spring, summer probably here. Not too long. And I'm pulling the more difficult to um, ship items like this. It's just getting very difficult for my dad to do the shipping. And I can't take it away from him. He'd be too upset. So I'm just going to pull things that are take a little bit more effort like you know that, that'd be a little more effort to make sure Mr. Cow didn't break. I've also pulled toys that aren't moving because again that's something that'll sell great at the consignment store. I am pulling some Christmas stuff that's too big and I'm not going to deal with or that's breakable or that's been sitting and I'm going to just save it for next year. At this point it's too late to take in Christmas um, but that's okay. I always have a bin going of seasonal stuff. So yeah, um, my store is greatly depleted, but that's okay. I'm focusing on stuff the consignment store won't take, stuff that I'm pretty confident eventually the right buyer will come along and it's easy to ship. So getting down a little bit, but I still have so much. But again, all these clothes could just easily go to the consignment store um, when the season comes along. So not a big deal. And like I said, the season... Seasonal, what would that? What would that? The season um, switch over, probably, be, I don't know, January, February, they start accepting spring, summer. So not too much longer. Charlie has about four blankets here and he's all snuggled in. Hi, buddy. I also got these candles at Sam's Club. 
and I've put them around. So now my whole entertainment center all lit up every shelf and then also over on the uh, china cabinet. I have two up at the top and I plugged in the china cabinet. We're all aglow for Christmas. So I know I was going to do like a once a week vlog on Sundays, but I actually already have enough footage um, from the last few days to just put a vlog up. So the vlog, I'm putting this one up, as you're seeing it now, is Sunday, um, even though I'm stopping filming on Tuesday. I'm going to just try to film as I go along as I have been, and if I have enough to kind of chop it up into two or three vlogs a week, I'm going to try to do that. I know a lot of you like the vlogs. I like the vlogs. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So with that, Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> and with that, you might get some more lifestyle content in along with the reselling, which I think most of you like. There are people who just want me to tell them what sells on eBay. And if you want to know that, I've written several books. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we're going to wrap up this vlog. And um, we will see you in the next video, whether it's a vlog or a sit down here on this channel. Right, Charlie? But if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Charlie said you give it a thumbs up. What's a thumb? Do you have a thumb? Okay. Thanks for chatting with us, Charlie. <laughs> um, leave any questions or comments below. And of course, make sure you are subscribed. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Say bye-bye. Night-night. You can hardly see you in there buried in all your blankets.